Ryan. And President Obama has turned up the heat on lawmakers to overhaul the U.S. health care system. The main target is the Senate Finance Committee, where lawmakers have failed to reach an agreement on legislation. Bloomberg's Lizzie O'Leary is at the White House with one of the president's top advisors on health care. Lizzie? Thanks, Gigi. I'm with Nancy Ann DeParle, director of the White House Office on Health Reform. And I, I want to ask you, listening to the president now, it was hard not to notice that he said a health care overhaul by the end of the year. Has August slipped as a hard deadline? No. You also heard the president talk about the inertia in Washington. He didn't have a deadline on. We wouldn't be moving this fast. And we had three committees report out bills last week. And we're really happy with the progress we're making. We just want to keep the pressure on. One of the big things that happened last week, Doug Elmendorf, head of the Congressional Budget Office, said that the bills he's seen now don't don't bend the curve on costs. I know you all want to be deficit neutral, but those two aren't the same things in terms of controlling costs and being deficit neutral. How does this plan keep the share of GDP we spend on health care down? Well, what it does is over time, things like health information technology, making sure that the information is there so that patients and doctors can make the right decisions through comparative effectiveness research, uh, prevention and wellness. We all know that if you can prevent a disease, it's going to cost a lot less than if you end up in the emergency room where the president was today at Children's Hospital. So those things aren't things that um, Mr. Elmendorf and his uh, folks at the Congressional Budget Office score. And we believe that over time, those are going to help to bend the cost curve. Well, then I have to ask you, Medicare is the sort of single largest driver of cost here, they pay on a fee-for-service model. Doctors do more, they get paid more. Why not shift the payment plan there to something that really focuses on prevention, pays more to primary care doctors? That is part of this reform package. In fact, uh, that is how the president is paying for uh, the majority of the, the cost of reform is through making uh, changes in Medicare, uh, getting rid of fraud, waste, and abuse, changing to more bundled payments so that that uh, physicians will get paid for taking care of a patient as opposed to piecework when they come in. So uh, those things are part of the bill as well. All right, Nancy and DeParle, thank you very much. We're short on time. Gigi, so I'm going to send it back to you in New York. Okay, Lizzie O'Leary in Washington, thanks for that.